Hi everyone, this is Eric from Indicator Warehouse and uh, this is Monday, October the 14th. Actually, it's the evening of Monday, the October 14th and I wanted to show you something that was kind of cool to use on DTS. A lot of times uh, DTS, well, DTS is a day trading system and what I have on here right now is the Hawk Micro Scalper but a lot of times people think that you can only use this during the regular day trading hours. And of course, that's not true. Now, mind you, the markets are pretty much 24 hours a day now. You can find some market to trade. And that's what I'm doing here. This is December gold, and it is shortly before the Asian market open. I like to watch gold around the Asian market open. Sometimes you can get some very good moves. You can see that there were some pretty good moves today out of gold. And I'm hoping that maybe we are going to get another move out of gold shortly after the open. The Asian market does like to pick a direction shortly out of the open and stick with it. Now here, uh, what I'm looking at uh, is the Hawk Micro Scalper and we're getting a warning dot and that's what this red dot is. That's telling us that there might be a scalp signal setting up shortly. And I'm also looking at the price action itself. These are the Indicator Warehouse Mean Renko Bars which are standard with the DTS trading system. And I like them a lot because they really help you identify the price action. They're not like regular Renko Bars they have the power of a Renko bar, but they have the chart sensitivity of a candlestick. So you really get the best of both worlds. And what you can tell, or what I can tell by looking at these, is that the resistance area seems to be holding. You see, we've got resistance kind of, oops, sorry, we've got resistance right around here. And it looks like we've broken our support and we might be heading lower. Now this warning dot, like I said, this is telling me that the signal is possibly developing. And this would actually be what we would refer to as the first micro macro crossover in the hawk. The micro line being this thin line, the macro line being this thick line. And when those two cross over and everything comes into sync, that is a very strong signal. So I'm just going to watch this for a little bit and hopefully we will get a signal and I'll show you how I'm going to trade it. Okay, this is a few minutes later. It looks like we're getting a little bit closer. You can see we've still got these warning dots and I know that if the market trades below here, I am going to get a completed signal. Now what a completed signal looks like is we get one of these triangles uh, and hash marks. You see a triangle and a hash mark that follows the warning dot. That tells me that the signal is complete and ready to trade. So I'm going to use my trade manager here and I'm going to set up to sell this market and I'm going to use the suggested stop which has been suggested by my stop strategy that I've selected here on trade manager and it tells me that I can afford to take four contracts on this position. Now I've noticed that with the Asian session, like I said earlier, once it picks a direction it usually likes to stick with it. So rather than take all my profit on target, I'm going to see if I can't trail a stop here and perhaps pick up a few extra dollars should the market move in my favor. So I want to submit that and let's see what happens. It's a couple minutes later. Uh, the market fell off, hit my uh, entry. So this is now a live order. And we can see that uh, the market's moving a little bit slow, but that's to be expected. It is the after hour session. And we'll stay with this for a little while and We'll see how the trade progresses. Hopefully we'll at least hit the first profit target and hopefully maybe even get a little bit more. 
All right. Well, gold prices. Oh, there we go. I was going to say they've uh, fallen off a little bit and we're just about to hit our first profit target, which they did. And uh, so we've banked uh, about $255 in profit right now. And now I have uh, this trade running according to the trade manager. You see these blue dots here? Well, the trade manager is automatically going to manage my position uh, from here on out. So we'll see how far it goes. Hopefully, uh, now that we've taken out this low, uh, we will see gold prices continue a little bit lower. A very nice progression. And you can see that, oh, well, we just got stopped out as the market made a little bit of a bounce, got high enough to find our trailing stop and all in all that was a pretty profitable little move good for six hundred and fifty dollars so those after hour sessions uh, great markets to take advantage of especially if you have a day job and you're not able to trade the regular day trading hours so keep that in mind the only thing you really need to remember is that you need a market with a lot of liquidity for the time zone you're trading. So if you're looking at the Asian market, uh, go with things like the Japanese yen, uh, maybe the um, crude oil, gold, those are all good choices. Uh, and maybe some of the currencies, other currencies that are native to that time zone, like the Aussie dollar or the New Zealand dollar or something like that. But yeah, DTS, a great tool, whether you choose to use it during the day or after hours. This is Eric from Indicator Warehouse. I'll talk to you tomorrow.